specification one, in that first lieutenant, Philip J. Caputo, did subscribe under lawful oath a false statement. Specification two, in that first lieutenant, Philip J. Caputo, did murder with premeditation the Dome, a citizen of the Republic of Vietnam. Specification three, in that first lieutenant, Philip J. Caputo, did murder with premeditation Tran Van Yan, a citizen of the Republic of Vietnam. Chicago and three years ago are a long, long way away. It's funny how you remember. I had a wrestling letter, a girl, sometimes a car that worked. And I couldn't wait to get out. That was the devil. <laughs> Famous flying tackle. This is the Stop. scissors headlock. Stop it. That's not my <laughs> head. Double twisted break <laughs> Those are great. <laughs> Exotic places, yeah. send back postcards. Yeah. Caputo was here. Mmm, boy, was he ever. Don't invite me in. You want to come in? How long you can be? Well, that depends on whose daughter they're trying to fix me up with. Oh, well, I hope she's a terrific conversationalist and a great dancer and a wonderful personality. <laughs> Every ten minutes. Oh. Uh, Five minutes. I'm counting down. Nice you could check in. Here, take this. Hey, Philip. How are you? What are you up to? Nothing much, Uncle Al. Hey, you still like Kennedy? You listen to his speech? I forgot he was on today. You? Daydreams of Camelot. By the way, where the hell have you been? No place special. Go on, get dressed. Now, what have you been doing there? Contemplating life on a tramp steamer? No, I've been living at home. <laughs> You're here and at least you're changing. Do you have any laundry? I'm going to do a load after the barbecue. No, thanks. I say a word about these socks. Oh, oh this one. I use that as a cleaner. Oh, Philip. Hey, Ma, you know what the great thing about living at home is? The security of knowing to you I'll always be a boy who needs manners. To Dad, I'll always be a boy who needs a job. Well, you ought to feel lucky to have parents who put up with you. No. I'll see you downstairs. Maybe for a minute. Philip. Look, Mom, I'm sorry, but I made other commitments. Hey, you didn't come home last night. This is Labor Day, and we're your family. I've got a bunch of people downstairs having a party, and you're leaving? What 
about your commitments here. Great. Great. Everything is going great here. Just great. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Hi. Oh, you must be Phil. We've all been waiting for you. I'm Lisa Modesta. I'm very late. Oh, I understand you're majoring in English at Loyola University. Uh, most of the boys I date are in pre-med or engineering. All right. So what are you going to do with your degree? I don't know. Teach? I don't know. Business? No. Oh, you two just met. How lovely. Yes. Isn't she just... Yes. Yes. Philip, where are you going? I'm late. Where are you I'm going? late. Okay, you were late getting here. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. Oh, wait, listen, your mother told me. You know what this means to her? You gonna embarrass the whole family by walking out? You have gotta settle down. What the hell are you doing, Philip? What do you think this is? It's your future you're playing around with, boy. You don't think I know anything, do you? Damn it, Philip! Relax, I'll get you another train. Yeah, just, uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm, uh, Give me another boiler maker. Forget the chaser. Yeah, you can have the chaser, you forget the boiler maker. This is your last one. I don't care if you are over 21. Yeah, well, I'm older than you when you left this burg. I came back. But you were there. Who's there? You know. You're a hero. A sand eater, kid. Just one more ground pounder in a foxhole. Tell me about Tarawa. Tell me about that silver star. Poor as hell, kid. You've seen one battle, you've seen more. You never will tell me about it. You just thank God that there's no war for them to send you to. Stop by and leave off some more laundry for your mother. Dad, I'm not a kid. I'm not in high school. I'm the only 22-year-old in America still living at home. Come here, take an edge. this girl. Dad, she has a name. Her name is Carol. She's a person. She's a woman. She don't like us. Dad, you don't like her. She's, she's different. Is that so bad? Dad, I think I'm gonna marry her. You can marry? You want a family. You don't know nothing about a family. You don't know about your own family. Your great-grandfather died in the mines with a shovel in his hand. We worked to put all that behind us, each, each generation, a little more school each year. Philip, I don't want you to throw that progress away. I want you to think about doing something worthwhile. A respectable job, a respectable girl, and a respectable home. That's all. I'm going to do something worthwhile. I'm not going to let it be a replay of this. I wasn't asking you to use me as an example. So 
Philip, I, ne I never ask you to do that. You know that. Never. Dad, I'm so proud of you. Proud of what you've done with your life. But it's your life, Dad, not mine. It's not enough. Dad, it's not enough for me. You know how for months I've been saying I was gonna do something? Get out of the house, go crazy, something. And look what's happened. He's dead. JFK is dead. Join the Marines. What kind of sense does that make? How does his death have anything to do with joining the Army? Marines. I already joined the ROTC. I thought that was the most conformist act of rebellion I'd ever heard of. It was a long time ago. And maybe back then I could join half to get out of the house and half for the hell of it. But it's different now. Look, they're two different things. Oh, I'm serious. I'm not kidding around. Well, I am too. I'm serious. I'm not kidding around. It's about time I put myself out there for something I believe in. Man's body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Man is created in the image and likeness of God. Have respect for the dead. Let us not lose our vision, as John Kennedy quoted. Your what was I trying to prove? My manhood, my courage. I had to prove I was up to it. I had to do something. The Marines. The man who wears that uniform was somebody. He passed the test. I pledge. It's our turn. I pledge to save. Tell you about the DIs. Let me tell you about McClellan, a water decker. Their voices, they misuses and abuses non-stop. Welcome to the Marines. Caputo! You do not bayonet an enemy and then ask him to cha-cha-cha. No, sir! Do you hear that, Cohen? Caputo don't want to dance with you. I hear that, sir! Kill! The lesson for today is kill. And I do believe that if a man tries to kill me, shoot me, slay me, murder me, then I will try and get him as fast as I can. You will think, survive, survive, survive! Do you hear me, people? Yes, sir! Do you hear me, Caputo? Yes, sir! Kill! Yes, sir! Kill! Yes, sir! Kill! Yes, sir! Again, pick it up. On guard! <laughs> What 
doing, dipped This isn't dancing. Never in my life have I seen such marine officer material. You're going to be a great general, Caputo. Now, off your butt! Hodges, how long are you going to stand in front of that mirror? That is the damnedest, most wonderful, truly incredible sight in the entire hemisphere I'm looking at, isn't it, Caputo? Come on, Hodges, move it, move it. Oh, plus my dress blues. Look out, world. Yeah! Put it Dear Carol, let me tell you about Walter Chamberlain Cohen. Everything I wasn't. He always knew the right thing to do. Hey, Walter, why aren't you getting dressed? I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? This is Saturday night. We got liberty. I can live without it. Oh, Mr. Cool. All right, it can live without me. No retreats, Cohen. Marines never retreat so long as they have the means to resist. Spare me the manual, Jesse Puller. We are Marines, gyrenes, the crotch, Semper Fidelis. You're a recruiting poster, Caputo. Cohen, are you slipping a woman in here? <laughs> yeah, we all leave, and you, the Jewish Henry Fonda. Yeah, I've seen you in action in D.C. with those honey, soft, flirtatious, but chaste D.C. girls. <laughs> How they just liquefy. Well. <laughs> and Walter, help me with this, will you? They are a nice company. Yeah, they're ready for it. Well, then get to work, Phil. They see right through me. <laughs> if only you'd not take off your trousers before shaking hands with them. Well, I'm ready for it. Ready to get out of here. Where to? Anywhere. You know. The women, the action, there. You're an over-anxious, over-eager, over-sexed boot brown bar, Caputo. However, you look outstanding. Thanks. Well, no, I promised celibacy. Oh, yeah, whatever happened to Carol? Carol of those many, many letters. Lately, there haven't been many, many letters. Did you ask her to the birthday ball? Oh, yeah. I could just see her singing Happy Birthday to the core. A girl will go a long way for a guy in dress blues. You don't know this girl. Hey, you bail ready, PJ? Now we can't be tardy. I'm right behind you. Right, come on, let's go. Look, Phil, all I'm trying to tell you is that it's, it's easy for her to turn down a juvenile delinquent from Chicago, but not an officer and a gentleman. Yeah. You sure you don't want to come? Oh, yeah, I'm most positive. All right, well, forward yo. Don't be tardy. Close my door. Yes, sir. Phil Caputo imitation. I could tell. Still needs a lot of work. 
You know, uh, I was under the impression that this was a solo land navigation problem. I had no idea you were over here in this direction so close. I have no idea you were over in this direction so close. I have no idea where I am. Let's dead wreck into the road. Come on. Fail the problem? It's better than staying out here, man. This place is... Nah, nah. Not me. Can't do that. <laughs> Good luck. Take care, General. Dear Carol, situation. Aggressor force is building up inside this Marine's MLR. Mission, PJC 089046C1-3. Seize, hold, penetrate. Execution, woman land LZ. Bus station maneuver elements Marine birthday ball. Call sign, play ball. Translation, get your butt down here. Please. I got the room. It's in the same hotel as the ball, so there won't be any wasted motion. Cohen, she's coming 700 miles by bus. Now, that's 700 miles the hard way. This has got to be real, right? All right, how do I look? Short. Short, but sharp. Short, but sharp. A natural leader and serious. Just the kind of guy you want to be serious about, right? Only if you promise to obey the law of the pack. out of here before we cause a scene. Come on. I'm getting embarrassed now. Miss Cunningham, may I have the honor of this dance? I believe I've asked this before, but what about the birthday ball? We'll get a license. We'll get a weekend. We'll do it. What are you talking about? Legal can you be a bliss? Your parents would never permit it. My parents could never stop it. They called me before I came down here. They like you. They don't like me. They'll never like me, Phil. They just temporarily resigned, and you know it. It doesn't matter. I love you so much. That's not the point. I won't marry.
Why did you come here? Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. In Dixieland, where I was born, early on a frosty morning. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. I wish I was in Dixieland. Stepping into elevator shafts after hours of sitting, wondering, thinking. They didn't help. We didn't know what to expect. Rumors of screaming yellow hordes. But we were Americans. First Marines, 3rd Battalion. The first major force to land in Vietnam. We were ready for anything. Lock and load, second! All right, off your butts, let's move it! Here we were, 
Dr. Ramirez. He never stopped making love to his radio. Keep your intervals. Mackie. So young. Never used to say a word. Never used to. Woodward. All eagerness and complaint. Sullivan. Just married. Loose as a goose. A damn ditty bopper. You just plain liked him. Coleman. Sergeant Ned T. He'd been there. Cluster, girls. Don't cluster. Keep your interval. Anderson, you don't get that weapon on safe. I'm gonna stick it in your ear and pull the trigger. Murph McCloy, a romantic, a hardhead, a warrior. Just drop in. On time next time, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Third platoon's got the right. Boy, keep your flank tight with seconds. No one's to fire unless attacked. Remember, we're only here to defend the airfield and free the South Vietnamese to fight their war. Questions? Any idea who's going to get to do most of the defending, sir? Where it is, C Company. The VC come, they're going to come right down your throat, Caputo. So get out your E-tools and start improving these bunkers. Dig in, gentlemen. And I mean dig in. Gods are off to war. Hey, come on, man. Move it. Let's get to you. This is Charlie, too. Come on, you right baggage. Dig. Dig him deep. Roger. Ask her all to get that hole deep. This is Charlie, too. Long test. Come on, girls. Follows. Dig, dig, dig. Ten, niner. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Roger, Brick Six. Rescue. We're here to rescue, and all I get to do is dig. Hey, Ain't Paris Island, Island out there, we would dig it deep. Hell, I'm supposed to wrap it up here in a couple weeks and go home. I don't want to know where the war is. What war? Maybe that man says dig, then that's what we're here for. Blisters and hernias. Hell, I'll probably bust my trigger finger, and they'll send me stateside. I want to know how they stay so cool. Come on, man. Get the hole down. You know how deep you're supposed to be. Yeah. Check your fields of fire, girls. It's going to get dark tonight. Try to get off your butt. Get that hole finished. You got a grenade something there? Well, get it done. Get some fresh brush out here. Pascarella, what, what are you doing? You call that a whole finish, it's not deep enough by half. Now get it done. What do you think you are? Some kind of pygmy? Get them flowers on that tree. Yes, sir. One, two. Roger, group six. Hey, Sergeant Coleman. Six. Come here for a minute. I got something to show you. I've been working on these fields of fire. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, the guns are in. The holes are deep. Not to worry, Lieutenant. I've been here before. Nothing like command. Hey, Sarge. I don't feel too good. I told you nummies once, I told you a hundred times. Take your pills. Take your pills. Green ones, the white ones, the little ones, the big ones. I ain't gonna cure you, but they'll make you feel hey, you better. Dumb swab jack, he knows that. Come on, Sarge. I got myself some iron intestines and barracuda valves. And we used to drink this beer back in Philly called Horlocker. Orlocker. No way. <laughs> Orlocker, man, I kid you not. That stuff's 315 a case. Man, I was the geeter with the heater and the boss with the hot sauce. Oh, God. No hot sauce, please. Hold on there, pal. You're going to need these. I know you, Sullivan. I heard what you were saying. I'm going to write your wife, and I'm going to write your kid and tell them what kind of daddy you really are. That's right, baby, my son. 
Hot damn, I still can't believe I'm a daddy. Yeah, well, I've been hearing it for two days. I'm a little tired of that boy. Yeah, well, get used to it, boy, because I'm in love with that lady in Philly. Now I got me a little guy, too. Well. Oh, come on, son. Man, freaking cool to bowels, huh, Junior? <laughs> Well, you better get some halos on that water you've been drinking, or you're going to disappear altogether. I'm telling you, Sergeant, I ain't taking any of them damn pills. I don't think there was a pill for you, Woodward. You ought to see your face look like something crawled up inside of you and died. <laughs> Lieutenant! Come here! What the hell is this, Lieutenant? This is the Marines! Look at your platoon, standing around, doing nothing, laughing. Why are you digging these air raid shelters? We're an offensive outfit. We're Marines. You're supposed to set an example. Drop it. All right, Sergeant, I think you heard him. I want these men off their butts. I never want to see him on them again. I want this thing zippered up and no more loafing and no more comedy. Is that clear, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Well, damn well better be. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it done. Move! No. Stop. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Easy. What was that? Just a landmine. Probably just some pig rooting around out there. Everybody just take it easy. President of the United States. Lyndon B. Johnson. Halt! Who is the Secretary of Defense? Robert S. McNamara. Halt! Who is the Undersecretary of Defense? How the hell should I know? Pascarella. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, sir. It was a shot. I think it was a sniper, maybe. It's close enough to give me a good night kiss. I think it was another jumpy grunt. Pascal, tell me something. Yes, sir? Who is the Undersecretary of Defense? Beats the hell out of me, sir. Carry on, Corporal. Mm -hmm. 
So you're maintaining your sense of decorum. Yeah. So Pascarella's just about halfway to the state you're normally in, huh? I was just waiting, just waiting, waiting for this attack that never comes. There's nothing out there. Nothing. And in here, there's considerable doubt that P.J. Capullo is in charge of his own platoon. What do you mean? I mean Sergeant Ned T. Coleman. Breathes napalm. Swallows second lieutenant's hole. Wait do you see Sergeant William Holgren. Wild Bill Holgren. Frozen chosen Holgren. He survived that? He did. The rest of us may not. Uh, no Coleman. It's like my father all over again. Yours. You should be my father. You know something? I flunked that OCS the first time through. And even if I'd made it, I was going to quit. I was sure this wasn't for me. So my father came down to talk to me. He said, your mother's family, the Chamberlains, have served three generations in the British Army. And his side of the family, the Coens, they never got past the Delhi. <laughs> People often think of the Jews as not good fighters. My father said, you do whatever you want once you make it through OCS. I made it through OCS. He's a good man. He's just, I don't know. It's not just, it's but. Uh, the worn white soldiers in khaki dress who tramped through the jungle and camped in the bayou. <laughs> Lawrence of Vietnam. <laughs> you wait. Next thing he'll be talking Vietnamese. Baima. Vatui baingu cham kut kwa kon heo. I think I got some on me. <laughs> what did you say? I don't know. You gonna eat that? Oh. Yeah. Leave my guess. Remember that explosion a couple of nights ago? Mm -hmm. Man's best friend. Dog blew himself up in a mine. Dogs. I told you, there's nothing out there. Dogs. Yeah. A rock gorilla. What? Apes. Delta Company had to take Hill 327 from about a dozen of them. That's their big battle to date. Who won? Well, the apes were a little uh, short on automatic weapons, you know. Maybe there is something out there. Don't fire that gun. The muzzle flash will give you a position away. If there's something out there, you throw a grenade. Lieutenant, he's out there. Wait, wait, this is an order. Take your finger off that trigger. Damn it, Woodward. If you don't take your finger off that trigger right now, you're going to lose that gun. Now. Now, you just relax. It's probably a pig or a dog. Ain't no pig out there, Lieutenant. There ain't no dog. All right. I've seen him. All right, all right, listen. Just listen. Ooh, I'm fed up and I'm fouled up and I'm far from home. I got some witch back home telling me she's flying my brain. 
five months pregnant. Well, there ain't no way. I've been here for two months. I was milking out four. I ain't no idiot, Lieutenant. I'm as sane, I'm as sane as you are. I got this little SOB out here, like, screwing around with my mind. I like to blow his All right. butt away. All right, Willie, we're gonna sit here. The two of us, okay? Okay. All right? All right, whatever it was, that settled his hash. <clears throat> Put your helmet back on. You ain't Coley, man? Oh, no, no, no. I played this game with you before, you know, Covers. I'll just drink your beer. Thank you very much. Well, you mind drinking less of it? <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Freddy here, he opened up on this little brown bugger, you know, gave him a low, maybe he won't soon forget. Didn't you, Freddy? <laughs> That's how we got all this lovely stuff here. <laughs> Look, you remember when, Nettie Lent? The only good thing I remember about Tam Key was the plane ride the hell out of there. And I remember the worst thing about it was your bloody singing, lad. What are you talking that about? That bleeding song, always the same bleeding I song. Sing like a canary, right? Whiskey, right? Whiskey, right? Whiskey, I cry. If I can't get right whiskey, I know I will die. Sick bloody canary, too, isn't it? <laughs> Sergeant, sorry to break this up, but it's time to roll. Uh, yes, sir. Lieutenant, I'd like you to meet uh, two uh, loyal Australian or strine allies of ours as Sergeant Firth, Sergeant Whitaker, Lieutenant Caputo. Lieutenant? Well, I'm out. Unless. These ought to be worth something. Here, Freddy boy, bad form, lad. Ears. No such personal items allowed in this game. Come on, Lieutenant. Here, Lieutenant. There's some little Charlies out there. They won't hear you coming, will they? You can sneak right up on them. <laughs> yeah! Come on, Lieutenant. Come on. Hang in there, Cobbers. <laughs> Yeah, what else do you got, mate? Nothing? Then you're flipping out. It's a war, Lieutenant. People take souvenirs. It's what happens in a war. Not in my platoon, they don't, Sergeant. <laughs> when I was in Korea, our guys used to sight in their weapons by firing at Korean farmers. I find that hard to believe. Believe it. Before you leave here, Lieutenant, one of the things you're going to learn is just how brutal a 19-year-old American boy can be. Just take the lead, Sergeant. So we had to go out and lay wire. Our first time. Something to do. This was home. The MLR. Main line of resistance. A chain link fence and a zigzagging trench line. A minefield and a triple row of concertina wire. Outside, a communist stronghold and the most likely avenue of approach for a VC attack. Oh, you relax, man. Wired details, only housekeeping. Vacation, Sullivan. If only Ramirez stopped yakking away in that squawk box. Spread it out! Spread it out! Keep your interval! Charlie 6, Charlie 6. This is Charlie 2 requesting radio check. Hello, well, Charlie 2. This is Charlie 6. Go ahead. Long test count follows. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roger, Charlie Six. It's about time. They're coming! They're coming! Take cover! Freeze! Freeze! It's a minefield! Everybody stand right where you are! Do what he said! Nobody move! Second squad leader, take charge! Keep everybody where they are. All right, Ramirez. Sit still now. Don't move. Carter, to get your web bolt off. Get it off! Everybody just stand right where they are. Don't move. 
All right, Larry. Take it easy now. Take it easy. All right, I'm coming. Just sit still. All right, Lieutenant. He's still breathing. He's alive. We need a corpsman up here. Corpsman! Corpsman, get up here! Sarge. I'm right here, man. I'm okay. I know you're okay. My, my radio. Don't worry about the radio, buddy. What's my radio? You're gonna be fine. Just stay right there. All right, just hang on for a second. Now listen to me, Jose. Come on, listen. Listen to me. Wake up now. Come on. My radio. Don't worry about your radio now. Transmission over, all right? Now listen. We gotta get you on your feet, all right? You gotta stand on your good leg. You gotta help me, all right? This is your good leg, okay? I'm gonna get you up right now. You ready? Huh? You wanna stand up? Huh? All right, let's go. Come on, that's it, good man. All right. All right. Over. Okay. We got it, man. Ramirez was our first casualty. That's it. But this is a combat zone. It does happen. But we got to stick together. Sharp. Tight. We need each other to win this war. Any questions? Yeah. Was he gonna be okay, sir? His foot had to be amputated. No more questions? All right, get back to your positions. Such as a VC battalion operating near Hoy Vuk. Delta Company will form a blocking position here. We'll be chopping in a few miles to the west, move southeast along the Two Line River. Second platoon will be the first in. You'll have to secure the landing zone for the rest of us. Does S2 expect it to be hot, sir? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Yesterday, someone from B Company wasted a farmer on a bicycle. Battalion says no one is to fire at unarmed Vietnamese unless they're running. Running, sir? Yeah, that's right, Cohen, running. Uh, sir, couldn't there be a legitimate reason for running? What then? I don't know exactly what it's supposed to mean, Cohen. The tie-in says if he's Vietnamese and dead, then he's VC, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, gentlemen, let's get back to work. Show Charlie, give him a taste. Buddha's nervous. You cut your throat if you shave. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous at all. I'm old and I'm nervous and I'm cast from the service. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rudyard Kipling. You just be ready. It was announced today that the Chicago area Marine was awarded the Silver Star. One second Lieutenant Philip J. Caputo single handedly knocked out. I'm not here for medals. Oh, well, pardon well, no, me. The medals are okay. No, we're here because. What we've got. A splendid little war. <laughs> Sergeant? Tomorrow morning, 0400. Yeah, I know. We heard, sir. What do you mean you heard? We just got the word. I guess good news just naturally travels fast, huh, Sergeant Holmes? Sure do. Contact, Sergeant. A BC battalion. What are you doing? I got a wife and three sons. Writing them a letter. Isn't that a little morbid, Sergeant? <sighs> well, helicopter assaults can get pretty morbid, Lieutenant. What's so special about choppers? Ramirez got it on the ground. Ramirez was lucky. He got out of this place easy. Lucky? He lost a foot. Well, he still got his credentials. Oh, hell, he didn't lose anything more than a couple of toes, Lieutenant. What's that? Purple Heart, first class ticket back to the States. That's, that's right. Yeah, but still, he... You know, I'll tell you the truth. 
I don't mind zapping these little jungle boogers. That's what I'm paid for. But you ride a chopper into a hot LZ, and don't tell me your butt don't pucker. But you ain't got it all in your hands. When I was 17, I snuck into the Marines. I forged my parents' permission. I was really popping in those days. I just ate up everything they threw at me. Well, I'm 36 now. And with all due respect to the lieutenant, I've made some hot LZs. When I was out here last time, I made this helicopter assault with these Arvin troopers. And old Charlie had the LZ bracketed. And we'd move left. Mortars would move left. We'd move right. Mortars would move right. We couldn't get off of that zone. We got our asses waxed that day. I mean waxed, Lieutenant. Waited. Eight men to a team, weighted down with equipment. We were headed into what would become the Happy Valley. Delta Company would establish a blocking position near the village of Hoi Vuk. Charlie Company, us, we'd land between hills 107 and 1098. Proceed along the Song Toi Long River to Hoi Vuk. Meet them and the enemy's 807th Battalion. A classic hammer and anvil maneuver. secured the LZ. Smoke grenades. Red smoke, hot LZ. Incoming. Green smoke, cold.
Roger, Charlie 6. I read back for possible correction. Charlie 2 to remain in position until 1 and 3 move out. Then follow in trace. Roger, 6. This is 2 out. Sir. With success, we're supposed to remain I heard what 6 said to police. So did RVC within 10 miles. Keep it down. Sorry, sir. Don't be sorry. Just be quiet. Yes, sir. We kept on walking. Was it Hoyvuk? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. How do you pronounce it? Hoyvuk? Hoyvuk? Some little hole in the jungle. All we knew. Kept on walking. Three hours. Thirty minutes. Who knew? Walking underwater. Can't really see. Nothing moves, and everything rustles. Hot. Not a condition of weather. Something else. Evil. Alive. We kept going. Tell me what you were doing, waving your hands like that under fire. It was a hand and arm signal. Lieutenant, you think any of these kids are looking at you? Each one of them got their eyes bugged out of their head. They all think they see Ho Chi Minh himself out there eating fried rice. They're not looking at you. Forget the book, Lieutenant, huh? Forget Quantico. This is here. You look like a Tokyo traffic cop there for about 30 seconds. Yo, what about you? Walking around out there like that, you could have gotten your butt shot off. 
make me out to be some kind of hero. Right? I would have flopped down faster than anybody, but I wrenched my back getting out of the helicopter this morning. I'm an old man, you know. I can't be jumping up and down like you young guys. Some old man. those walls. Sir? VC can hide ammo there. Bayonet them. Yes, sir. Ain't no sign of Charlie. Oh. Now that sniper's back up there. He ain't there now, sir. Sure as hell isn't any VC battalion. We're Delta Company. Maybe it's not Hoy Buck. Oh no, sir. It's Hoy Buck, all right. Lieutenant? Nothing to report, sir. Delta can't be that far. I'll tell you, there just ain't no sign of Charlie. Well, we're gonna saddle up a second. Interrogation first, Coleman. Go see if we can't link up with Delta. Sir, I, I think this is improper questioning, sir. Diary. Hold it. What's going on here? He's VC, Diary. He's striking this old man. But he's a VC. He make a funky stick to kill all of us, to kill you. Sergeant Holgren, burn these and get him out of my sight. You learn. You stay here and you learn. Don't know. Don't know. You stay here and Don't you learn. Know. Lieutenant Cohen, give him some sea rats and let's move it out. All right, first, saddle up over here. Johnson, give this man some sea rations. Second, over here.
You okay, man? What's the matter? You all right? Come on, we're almost home. Here, put your helmet on, man. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Let's get home, huh? Here, let me carry your weapon for you. No. Come on. You sure? No. Let's go, man. Come on. Up we go. Okay, man. What, what's the matter? We did it. Come on, boy. Come on. We're we'll okay, baby. We're gonna get you home. What's happened? I don't know. We just fell, sir. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Feeling better, man? Uh -huh. ah! Here you go, ah! baby. Woody, come on, babe. It's gonna be okay. Come on, babe. Come on, ah! Woody, come on. Baby, calm down. Calm down, baby. It'll be okay. Stop this burning up. Give him a shot. Come on. Your man? I can't figure out why he's still alive. His body temperature's 109 degrees. What does that mean? His brain is boiling. He probably has brain damage. He'll have to be evacuated to the States. Sorry. Get him in there fast. Okay, I didn't know there was 109. Damn Woodward. Baby, I tell you from now on, I am staying in the shade. I am watching where I step. I hear anything, I'm throwing a grenade. I mean, I'm going home alive, and I don't care who I gotta kill or how many of them I gotta kill to do it. I mean, I'm a daddy now, you know? Da Nang in 1965 teamed with refugees, armed soldiers, whores, pimps, camp followers, black marketeers, maimed and peppered survivors. We were lucky to get out alive. Crazy to ever go in. How long were you here last time? 18 days. And why did you leave? A little dysentery. Oh, dysentery. Where did you get it? Well. Oh, no. Now, come on, you guys. Come on. Simone's isn't like that. Besides, you forget I know the language. No guts, no glory. Right guts, right glory. Comment ça va? Oh, bien, merci. You come back. Yeah, I brought some friends with me. Uh, Walter Cohen, this is Simone. Leaving ma'am. Phil Caputo, Simone. Oh, uh, Walter? Yes. Yum yum. Yum yum. Phil? You get. Let me see, boy. Yeah, yeah. Good time, boy. Here's the war. Here's to it. Here's the war, mate. War. All right. War. 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 Here, you mucking around with the Sheila. Here, here's the war, mate, right? The war. Uh, 11th Rangers, right? Right, yeah. Bugger. Well, bugger, mate. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, centuries, Mike. <laughs> the days of the jungle skirmishes. Ah, uh, the good days. The good days, lads, the good days. The good days. Uh, good days. Have a drink, Walter. Loose some pub. Okay. Ah, uh, Kuala Lumpur. Here's the Kuala Lumpur. Kuala. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Lumpur. Rock. Lumpur, like I said. There you go. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Young. Um, do you speak English? You call that a bleeding drink? You're supposed to be a U.S. Marine. Come on, lad. Drink up. Right. Oh, I don't suppose you blokes remember Inchon. That was a good one, too. Inchon. Right. Inchon. There you go. Here, let's not forget the Philippines. The Philippines. And I think Malaya would be a little put out if we forgot about that one. Mm. 
Here's to Malaya. Right. Oh, well, lad. Right. There you go. Come on, lad. You can do better than that. You know what, lads? We're going to win this bleeding war. Right. 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 <laughs> oh, no, no. I thought I knew, but I don't know. I don't know anything. I can't find him. Can't. The Phantom. Can't find him. In this place, this place is killing us. It's killing my men. I have a platoon. 32 men, good men. And Woodward was a good man. The son boiled his brain. He was a kid. Ramirez, he was a good man. We never fought, and they blew his foot off. And we walk, and they shoot at us. And we walk, and they blow us up. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk. And we can't find him. Doesn't matter, cause we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. What is going on? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you? Okay. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did it again. I don't believe it. My mom? Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't believe you came all the way from Saigon. Of course I came. You okay? Your trip was safe? Okay. Simone, this is my friend Juan. Juan is Simone. Sure, come. Come on, Juan. Madame, in peace. You must hide. Uh, Simone's now off limits to Americans. D. Oh. Hurry. D. D. The bedroom. D. D. Hurry. Quick, quick. Before, sir, it's never stopped me. No, you don't understand. Just a minute. Come on, come. Ko, manu ela ay, tay su hao moon, denim vei. Tung sao, o kam dem anti da het. We'll take you standing up or lying down, whatever you like, Lieutenant. Sir, just a second. I'll never tell. I swear. Don't worry. Now look, I'm here on special orders. That's all I can tell you. This woman is my contact for language training. Sure, Lieutenant. And this is your basic accredited language school. Yeah. Let's go, Lieutenant. Dee Dee. She has just now come from Saigon. Murphy, and come Hugh, I'm Lindsay. 
don't believe a word of this. Come on, Lieutenant. Okay. I'll just have to tell him everything then. Regardless of the consequences. Sergeant, I am on special orders from General Hollingsworth. Top secret. <laughs> Sergeant, we have good reason to believe that we have located and killed in action Philip Caputo. All right, that's it. Let's go. Come on. All right, gentlemen, everybody else. Last night, you wouldn't have believed it. You wouldn't have believed it. The old salt really tied on a package last night, didn't you? A package? The old apartment store. <laughs> hey, Sarge, why is anybody talking? What the hell's going on around here? Sullivan's dead. He was sniper down the edge of the perimeter. Still in this canteen. This wasn't just some local yokel in black pajamas popping off with a carbine either. This guy could shoot. He never even saw his son. When? A couple hours after you left. Should have been here. What could you have done? It had to happen sooner or later. Somebody had to be first. I'm just sorry it was Sullivan. Damn diddy bop. Should have been here, Sergeant. Roger. Six. 
Charlie Six, this is two actual. We're coming up on Checkpoint Alpha, and it's perfect timing. Two out. The cross and the squad rushes, Lieutenant? Sure thing, Sergeant. All right, Pasco, let's go. Let's have it. All right, first squad, come on. Let's go. Hustle, come on. Move it out. Let's go, second. Come on. Move. Chuck hand grenade. Happy hand grenade. I know the question. I know the question. I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask it. No. Why? Why? You don't need to ask it. It's not gonna happen to you. Why? 